So we're heading back to the temple to unlock the last um, power up. So that's what's going on over here. Okay. I don't know why, but the, the father looks less detailed than the two others, which I find a bit weird. That was a pretty good combo. Right, oh, let's run over here. Wait. <laughs> okay, that felt a bit unnecessary. Stand and fight. Okay, now I'm ready. Nice. And through the door. There we go. And when we do one of these. Where? Ooh, nice. Look at the prince being surprised. Whoa, what? I wasn't too bad this time. Ah, but he always seems kind of surprised that that it keeps happening every time she does that. I don't think this tower is too stable. Exciting. And another door opens. last one himself it wasn't one of those destructible ones all oh, right I can't see a way down we have to go up I have to go up then ooh exciting yep that's where we're going Nice. Well, this is the most interactive uh, environment yet. Oh. Uh, this way? Yep. I am excited to see how we're going to fight this warrior, considering that we can't easily hurt him. You know what, actually? This whole warrior area is actually kind of different. You can't hurt the warrior directly, so you always have to shove him off the platforms, which is a, in contrast to all the other ones, the three other ones. Ah, uh, calm down, Prince. It's going fine. Ooh, interesting. Look at this. Oh, up, yep. You know what? I'm gonna call it. This warrior um, area, it's the best one. It's the most interactive, it's when using the plates, it has the most dynamic levels, it feels like a um, break from the monotony of the other areas. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. You know, I, I I know they tried to kind of make them all the areas a bit different. Because you can see that, like, one of them is, like, the gardens, and this is all towers, and whatever. And that's cool, but um, this one sticks out among the others. Nice. I like this one. 
Hello, warrior. There we go. Going over the edge. Oh, and then she can heal him, right. Oh no! Is he dead? Can you do the healing without his body? Oh. And we slide. You see? This is so much better than any of the others. Oh, what she do? <laughs> she just not exactly T pose, but you know, same thing. Ooh. <laughs> Do we still push him over the edge? Oh, we just have to survive. See, this is different than all the other bosses. The warrior is, weirdly enough, the pacifist uh, uh, um, boss where you can't hurt him directly. Or in this case, you just have to dodge him for long enough. And he is done. Oh, he blew himself up. And then over here, ooh, a puzzle. We should be able to get across if we get these beams lined up. Do this just turn? Oh, okay. I see. Uh, that looks a bit far. Wait. wait. Oh, I see. And now we can we turn this 180? Yes. Oh. Right. There we go. Did I? How do we? It's all right. It survived. Huh? Did we really just beat him that quickly? What I'm curious about is, back in uh, 2008 when this first was released, the the ending of the game was very lackluster. Or at least that's what I remember about it. But I'm not really sure if that's my memory or if it's like the collective memory of the game. That said that it was lackluster. But they ended up releasing a DLC, which you had to pay for, which had a had like the, the true ending. But what I don't remember is back then it was widely believed that the reason that they did it like that was because they didn't have time to finish it in time. And they ended up hurrying with the finish. Uh, or the end of the game, and then release the actual intended ending as DLC to earn extra money. And this was, remember, back in 08 when like DLCs were pretty fresh. Uh, the horse armor of Oblivion was still very much fresh in memory. Um, and it just felt like kind of a cash grab, which it might have been in all fairness. I mean, I don't know. But Recently, I heard the claim that it was actually 
not like the or maybe well they didn't actually say that it wasn't but it, it, it wasn't that the ending was uh, unfinished it was rather that in the um in response to the bad um reception of the ending they ended up making a new one and releasing that as dlc i'm not sure if that's better that they made a new ending in response to criticism yeah anyway so i don't know is it a better excuse uh, to say that they um, did it out of uh, like a, a wish to make a better ending i don't know if it was a like a pure wish or with pure intentions, maybe they would have released it without taking extra payment. The devs might have wanted that, but you know, corporates never gonna allow that. Yeah, you know they're not gonna not gonna let the dev team work on another ending and not uh, take payment for it. Might be the co uh, compromise. Dev team wants to make a new, the proper ending or like a new ending or whatever, and corporate says, "Well, if you're in, we'll let we'll let you do that, but you'll have to." Release it as paid DLC. Yeah, I don't know in the end. I haven't really researched it, researched it either. But what I was wondering was... Which ending... Is in the game? Or rather, which ending in, is in this version of the game? So, I don't think this includes the DLC. Because I'm a cynic, and I don't think that they would do that. If they had the chance. I don't think it's like a... Game of the Year edition or something like that. Here we are. Yes. <laughs> He's blue now. Oh, we need to use the blue one. Oh. What's happening? We don't really know. There we go. Go back to whence you came. I can't remember whether or not I liked the writing back in 2008 when I first played this game, when it came out. But, um... I'm not a fan now. <laughs> that's, that's for certain. <laughs> so he kind of alternates between... He alternates between being really okay and having fun with the whole running wall running thing, and then in the next on the next play, he, he'll be like, "Why am uh, Why am I doing this? I regret everything." Ooh, that's cool. You know, that was good. I like the wall running thing. It's I guess it's time to find out if you really are immortal. What the oh probably yeah. A cutscene. <laughs> My combo's not working. Oh right. I love the planets. Skewer him.
Skadoosh. Skadoosh. Wow. Really? There we go. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, that wasn't... Nice. And now I think we go back to the temple and defeat her father. Uh. Wait, what's it sliding on even? Who hangs rings on the outside of a hot air balloon? And why am I still trying to put logic to this world? It's, you just have to accept it's weird. People in this world get around in weird ways. Okay, this is pretty good. Moving around through all these environments while they're kind of collapsing all around you. That's... That's fun. Okay... You know, it would be really cool if they actually were able to <laughs> to emote. But the fact is, with the with the, um, the art style, they're not able to show any expression. Basically, so what we end up with is yeah, this. Oh, that one didn't go well. So yeah, what we end up with with is um, this where. They more or less have to tell us what they're feeling because we sure as hell can tell from their from their faces. You see a proper downslide too? He said falling to his death. I don't actually remember how this game ends or how the DLC ended. Oh sorry. So is this the other ending? I don't know. Combination of all the different types of power. This flying section is probably going to be quite extensive, because it's probably going to be the only one, or maybe one of a uh, one of very few. I'd guess. I forgot to press the button. Are you kidding me? I have to do all that over again. <laughs> I was just thinking about 
how I didn't want to fall down because it was quite a way back, way back, and um, yeah, I uh, forgot to press the button. You know what's sad? You know, you know what what's sad? It's not even the first time during this playthrough that I've done that. Distracted myself and forgot to push the freaking button, which is the simplest task in the world. Push the button at like semi regular intervals. It's not even that hard. Oh, there's another flying section. I was just about to say, I'm about finishing it right, right about now, and uh, that was when it ended. Nice. Head bottom. Okay, he's blue. Dabu dee dabu die. Of course. Oh, he's healing too! The fucker. Once again, I was wondering why my combo wasn't working. We reached a cutscene. And he has, and he rises as something bigger and better. There we go. Oh, right, I remember this. You see from the mo the monster, the uh, Ariman's view. Could you say it any louder? Uh, is this where we go? Uh. Oh, right. That's a safe zone. And now we move. Oof. Oh. Interesting. What now? Next plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, I'm going as fast as I can. What now? Saber's Easter. Come on, man. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cleared up. Ooh, a plate on the wall. I see. Oh, uh, uh, wow. That is risky, I think. Flying that close to the thing, Armin. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Huge button prompt. Okay. Ow. But the music. A tree. The tree's back. Elica, we did it.
How, how, how far away were you? Why did it take him so long to run over there? Are we going to carry her again? Okay, then. Or through the tree? No. Are there any stairs? Yes. Well, I feel like the lines on the scarf and headband thingy, they are a bit too much on the back. They look a bit too cartoonish. They're, nothing else has that heavy of an outline. Anyway. Oh, nice. Well, Jan Erik Schuval. That's probably Swedish, I would say, based on that name. That was not too bad of an ending, I think. A bit abrupt, maybe. But I like this uh, interactive um, uh, credits screen. Let's go to all the trees. So I'm gonna release... Our man again? To save Elika? Is that, is that what's happening? Ah, okay. Guess we're doing this. Wow, okay. No animation this time. They are doing a remake of the uh, 2002? Question mark? Version of Prince of Persia, apparently. Coming out like this year or next year or something. That might be interesting. Really wish they would do another version of this, actually. I really like the art direction and uh, I really like how it kind of looks. The writing is a bit... <clears throat> oh no. So, is it like we can choose to either do the tree or the thing, or can we just do the tree? Looks like we can just do the tree. Yeah, only the trees available for it. This doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay. 673 light seeds. Gotta bring them to Elica. Yeah. Same. Whatever you do, don't take off the, the glove.
That was a bad ending. What the hell? What? <laughs> huh? I I don't get it. What? <laughs> Did it just end like that? <laughs> that makes That makes no sense. What? And we're getting the the credits all over again. So did was that the DLC? That that extra bit where he just chopped down the trees and revived her and let Armin free? And that was the better version of the ending? Wait, what? What? 